Hello, Midbus Fun Page. We're here on a windy day and it's overcast. And it looks like we have, I see seven buses, seven school buses over there. Let's go check the, the, the park out. Get some food too. We're, we're here for dinner or for lunch. Now, uh, Megan, oh yeah, she made some progress. I heard that they're using this for meet and greets. That'd be a good, nice air conditioned place to do it, but it's not very hot right now. Oh, wait a minute. They got a facade in there. You go in there and, oh, that's neat. It's a place to meet uh, characters. characters. Yeah. We haven't seen any celebrities yet. Not today. There's the Tommy G. Robertson. Leaving the St. Louis station. Years ago, we get to ride in the caboose for the first time in years. I was thinking you should be able to climb up to, to the top and look out those windows. They have that shut off. I saw this blue flag here opening day. I don't understand why we have these blue flags of, or just straight colored flags. It matches the paint. It does match the paint. So maybe oh, it does. Just the answer let us know in the comments exactly breaking news alert we have dates for fright fest it goes in on november 3rd yeah and it looks like it starts early again which is cool september 13th november 3rd i think that's even earlier than last year isn't it that is looks like spin sanity is packed they got a little bit of a line this guy's not open yet. What is this called again? This is Ka -ka! Tsunami Soaker. Tsunami Soaker, okay. I see the native Midwest Jim in his natural habitat of Six Flags. Hey Jim. You ready for lunch? Let's go down to Giant Rockets, what do you say? Whatever you want to do, let's I'm go. Kidding. Okay, let's check out Mooseburger. Let's see what they got in Mooseburger. Okay. Sounds good. I was gonna say hi to the mouse. The moose. I almost said mouse. Moose. Wrong park, babe. Right. Wrong park. Do you wanna go say hi to your moose friend? Let's go say hi to the moose. What's your figure in the uh oh, there's Jim's bestie. What have you been doing all over? <laughs> I've been waiting here for you to come back and hit the button so we can sing and dance. By the way, did you know that Mr. Six Flags was in here just a little while ago and he had the cheesesteak sandwich and he said it was great? See you next time. He says because I can't. But there's his family up here. Oh, a whole family tree. What are you getting for lunch, Jim? Um, last time I got, I got a uh, Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak, which is new. It was okay. It, it wasn't horrible. Let's look at the menu. Okay. Time to eat. Time to eat at Six Flags. Review the food. Here we go. Is that our new theme song? That's our new theme song. What do you got, Midwest Heather? I got brisket mac and cheese. I don't know if this is new to the park, but I believe it's new to this location, and I'm excited. I'm going to be real boring, okay? I'm getting the same thing I got last time. I got the Philly cheesesteak, but it looks like the fries are different. 
I think that's the same as they were last time. Yeah. All right, we're gonna dig in, then we're gonna review this food. While you're at it, please subscribe, please like. And hit the notification Make sure you hit that notification bell. How's your food, Heather? Um, it's fine. I wouldn't get it again, and if I didn't have a food pass, I'd be pretty upset if I spent $20 on it. It'll serve its purpose, but yeah, it's not on the list for next time. How about you? It seems like you're skipping on the meat today. It seemed like there was more stuff on this Philly cheesesteaks last week, or a couple weeks ago. They did fill it up high they last did. week or the week before. I'm disappointed with the fries. I had more fries last week. Maybe they're just trying something different here at Six Flags, but right. I'll tell you what. That's eight bucks. This is eight bucks. Oh, eight bucks. Twenty, 20 bucks. If you, we no have pass. food passes. No food pass. It'd be twenty bucks. So I mean, and we'll get our money's worth out of our food passes, so it's fine. But if we had paid out of pocket, yeah. it would not be good. <laughs> like I mean, it's not. Worth we'd it. be disappointed. Yeah. Well, we're gonna finish our food. And we're gonna decide what we're gonna do next thing about Moose Burger back in the day, here comes the train, the cool thing about Moose Burger back in the day was they had their own like fixings bar where yes. you put as much fixings on your burger. Lettuce and onion especially and even at one point they had cheese. Yeah you put your own cheese on the burger, you put like three slices of cheese on the burger. Maybe that's why they don't have it anymore. <laughs> that's probably why. I will, let me add this note too. There is a brisket sandwich. I would get that. The brisket itself is pretty good. It's just like the brisket mac and cheese and blah. So, I, if next time I would give, if we came here, I would give the brisket sandwich a try. And I've had it in the past, but it's just the mac and cheese isn't. You know, maybe. Maybe I'll, I'll uh, try a burger next time because you know the president or the uh, CEO of the company of Six Flags at the time last year, he tried over a thousand or a hundred burgers. He says, um, "So let's see what, what he picked, right?" Sure. So what do you think, Joe? Also, last week one of our friends made some amazing homemade mac and cheese so maybe my standards are too high right now do you see what i'm saying it's just kind of eh. the fork does not taste good the fork you're not supposed to chew on the fork right. sir but give the brisket a try absolutely it does look good it's very bland the mac and cheese part is very bland but the brisket put some hot tasty. sauce on that thing that would be really nice do they have hot sauce? No, they don't. <laughs> well, you could ask for it. They might. I'm gonna get a burger next week. These fries are yum, yum, yum. Absolutely delicious. They're perfect. They're perfect. You guys see this view of where we're sitting? We're at Moose Burger. We're sitting in the corner. On the side where the restrooms like, are like right here's over the door the over here. We got the restrooms over here. Let me flip it over. You can see the St. Louis station over here. See the trains coming in. Train coming in. And if you gotta go to the bathroom, it's right over there. And if you gotta go in the tsunami soaker, it's right over there too. <laughs> you can hear the ninja and the mine train if it's running. I will never need to go on the ninja. I think we're probably gonna hit the mine train if it's open next. Okay. Go we'll dump the trash, see the inside of Moose Burger. Very good looking building. I don't know what it was when the park first opened or if they just built this when they put the, the McDonald's in. What do you think? Do what? Did they build this when the park opened or did they put this in with the McDonald's? I have no idea. I don't know. Another little bar here. 
Oh, where's the goose? I don't see the goose. The goose is the goose is loose. He's not. Yeah, he's not here today. This is where this foul ball right there, baby. Hey. No, but this is where he hangs out, right here. But sometimes he hangs out, like, uh, hangs out, like, right around foul ball. Okay, let's go up there and find out. I'm not making promises. He didn't text me and tell me where he is. He didn't text you? <laughs> Looks like the water's on. Fireball is right there. And Catwoman's whip is just... Hanging out. This is a very beautiful park. Nice and hilly. Good for working on your legs. Heather's looking for a goose right now. I'm pretty sure the goose just hangs out right over here. I'm pretty sure of it. He must have taken a day off. Yeah. Maybe he's on break. When do the characters come out? Maybe he comes out with, with the Maybe. characters. Maybe he's a new employee. New employee. He was here last year. There's the lost parents. I always thought that was cute. With the Tasmanian devil sitting over here. Yep. Oh, we have a... Uh, Wait times here. Fireball is only 10 minutes. Shazam's 15. That is not Shazam. That is something else. That's Fireball. Five minute wait wait for the River River uh, River King Mine Train. River King Mine Train is only five minutes. Let's go. Who are you texting? Garrett the Goose. Garrett the Goose. Do you remember when they had guess the guess your weight and guess uh yes. that was right over here. In fact the scale's still here. It's behind this wall here. Oh that's not the scale. Behind this wall is the scale probably. Check out the River King mine train. Five minute wait. We're about to ride the River King Mine Train, but you need to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you ring that notification bell so you can see every single time we put out a new video. Please join us. This might be a little shorter than a five minute wait. about to pack up the cats on this one not before midwest heather tells you how the ride was like ride not my first Whoa. ride but just my rides when i was younger yeah. that last drop through the dark tunnel that felt so intense felt like such a big hill when i was a kid right over there the tunnel it's still fun it is fun they used to have a horn down there i don't remember train horn oh it scared the heck out of you i believe you i just don't remember They had a train horn down there. Like they used to have, well, they used to have lights down there too. Remember when we came here? Maybe it was the end of last season, and they the lights were on. Down in there? Yeah. In the tunnel, the lights were just on. They took some of the thrill away, but it was kind of funny. <laughs> Yes, I enjoyed my ride. Did you Did you enjoy your ride? For such a dreary day, it's turned out to be very pretty. So This this worker up here is really Yeah, he is great. Hard. Yeah, he's doing a great job up there. 
usually they're just sitting there. Sometimes they're on their phone, but I haven't seen that in a long time. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing up there. He looks like he's having a good time. He's having a good time. Cool.